Hi, Richard J. Bryan here. Welcome to my video series focused on succession planning. Today I will be talking about contingency planning for your business and how this differs from succession planning as a whole. So what is it? Basically, a contingency plan should form part of your overall business continuity planning. A contingency plan deals with the short-term risks caused by a CEO's temporary or permanent illness, incapacity or even death. It is basically a disaster recovery plan to cover for a sudden loss of leadership in the business. So why do you need one? Well, I walked into my family business when my father became ill and shortly afterwards was forced to retire from full-time work. It would have been great if there was a well thought through plan in place prior to my father getting sick. Instead, there was absolutely no plan. I had to figure things out as we went along with no specific action plan or strategy to follow. Even worse, there was no trusted advisors or leadership experience for me to go to for advice. Luckily, I joined a CEO peer group consisting of 16 older and vastly more experienced owners and CEOs, and they pointed me in the right direction. When I'm speaking at a conference or client event, I like to tell the audience that it's like writing a will for your business, where you explore all of the worst case scenarios. Now, I know this can be an uncomfortable thing to do with your senior team, especially in a family business where the lines between business and family can become blurred. However, if the worst happens, you'll be pleased that you took the time to think these things through in advance and come up with a plan, even if it's pretty basic in nature. So how do you put one together? Well, there's lots of variables to consider, which I've outlined in a recent blog. And for me, two of the most important ones are the team and the funding. If you have the right people in place, supported by a team of trusted advisors, lawyers, accountants, bank or financial institutions, the chances are things are going to be okay. If this team also has the funding available, either from the cash flow of the business or through an insurance product such as key person insurance, this will help with the cost of hiring a new or interim CEO. Once the immediate crisis has passed, then you can go back to focusing on the longer term strategy for the organization. Typically this takes about six to 12 months. In my case, it was more like 18 months because we were also in the middle of a financial turnaround. So every business case is different, but the principles of contingency planning remain the same. I hope you found this short video useful. Look out for more videos in the succession planning series and feel free to reach out to me directly if you have any specific questions about this topic. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to find more content on business leadership and succession planning.